guys happy Tuesday to you chef Kevin Belton here you know every once in a while you get the taste for something different the other day a few weeks ago I went and got a gyro so I figured you know what why not make one now some people call them gyro some people call them gyros whatever you want to call it it's a Greek term and actually the word gyro means turn to turn or circle that's what it means so when you take that peat and you turn it Hence the name. So today we're going to do chicken, all right? Now, there's options with the chicken. I like chicken thighs, so I've taken chicken thighs and I've just cut them in long strips, okay? You could do the same thing with the chicken breast, but I tell you something else. You ever see the pieces of tenders? You know the breast has that little extra piece of meat that's on the bone, that long strip? Use that if you want. So we're going to make a marinade for this. Now, in most of Greek dishes, one of the most important things is Greek yogurt. So for our marinade, that's what we're going to start off with. This is just plain Greek yogurt. And what makes Greek yogurt different than regular yogurt, it's much thicker and denser, all right? So let's get our yogurt in. Now, to that, I have a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, all right? We'll get that in. As far as seasonings go, here I have some dried oregano. I have cumin. I have sweet paprika. I have ground coriander. And I use a little bit of white pepper, or you can use a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Now, the cayenne pepper or the white pepper just gives a little bit of heat. If you don't want that, don't put that in. You don't have to, all right? And, and I don't know if you all are impressed at all, because, you know, being a Louisiana and I always put that Louisiana touch to it, I am not using my Creole seasoning. What is wrong with me? So here, we need a good pinch of salt in this. So we'll get in some salt. I'm gonna get in a good bit of black pepper. Now, I like to grind fresh pepper. If not, that's okay. Just use already ground black pepper. Here, we're gonna get the juice of a lemon. Just get that lemon juice in. And I tell you what, if you don't have a fresh lemon, you could do it with lime if you want. And you know, for some reason, lemon just brightens everything up. Look, there's a little seed right there. Let's get that little seed out of there. All right. And of course, a little minced garlic. Now I'm just gonna mix this all together really good. We just want to get that mixed in, and now we're going to pop our chicken into it. Now, we want to make sure that all of the chicken gets coated in this marinade, all right? All right, that looks good. Now, I want this to sit in the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and clear wrap this. I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now, if you want, you could do this ahead of time and keep it in the fridge overnight. And if you don't want to do it overnight, just do it for a few hours ahead, or here, I'm doing it for about 30 minutes ahead. So I'm gonna get this wrap, get in the refrigerator to get a nice chill on it so that marinade could get the flavor in that chicken. And when we come back, we'll get our chicken starting to cook, and I'll show you how to make that wonderful tzatziki sauce that makes the gyro so good. So we'll see you in a little bit. We are ready to get cooking. Now, I have the pan on a medium, medium high heat heating up. We're gonna put a little olive oil in it. Now, you know, I've done this in a cast iron pan, and I've also done it in a non-stick pan. I'm using a non-stick pan today, and, I, and I'll show you why. When we get our chicken in, try to get rid of as much of the excess as you can, but you want to put the chicken in, don't move it. We want to actually let it lay there for at least two to three minutes, depending on how thick it is. Now, if I'm using breast, those are gonna to have to sit for at least a good five minutes on each side. With the thighs, we won't need quite as long because what's important is we get a nice browning, we get a wonderful color on here. Now, in here, we had raw chicken in here. So make sure you just throw this away. Because we had raw meat in there, just throw it away. 
it, there's no nothing you can really use it for. So here, while our chicken is cooking, let's get to work on the tzatziki. Now I'm starting with a couple of cups of the Greek yogurt, all right? Both Monica and I love garlic. So this is about four to five garlic cloves. It, it totally depends on how much garlic you want to use. You know, it's one of those things, do it to your taste. A little olive oil and a little white wine, I mean, just a regular white vinegar. I almost said red wine vinegar. I use a red wine vinegar in the marinade, but here in a tzatziki, just white vinegar. Now we're gonna get a little shake of white pepper. We're gonna get a nice little pinch of salt. Of course, some black pepper. Now, here is the magic for tzatziki, and that's cucumber. Now, I've taken an English cucumber, run it in the food processor, I skinned it, run it in the food processor, and you notice I have it in a strainer, okay? I did a little salt on it when I ran it in the food processor, and I put it in a strainer, and I just mash it. Can you see the liquid coming out of it? All right? You want to make sure you get the liquid out. Now, of course, if you have a little cheesecloth, you can put it in cheesecloth and wring it out. But just in the strainer, just mash it because we want as much liquid out as possible. So now let's go ahead, get our cucumber in. And that's really what makes a wonderful tzatziki. All right? So we're just gonna get all of this mixed together. You can see that cucumber, if that cucumber was really wet, that it could really cause this to be watery, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator so it can chill, all right? Before I get ready to use it, I'm gonna make sure I taste it in case I wanna add a little more salt, a little more pepper. I could also use a little more white pepper in it, okay? So I'm gonna get this chilled, I'll get our chicken finishing cooking. So when we come back, I'll show you how to put all of this together so you can have that wonderful gyro. Yes, this is going to be so good. Look at our chicken. You know, it's hard when you cook something not to touch it, but it works out so great when you put this in the skillet. Don't touch it at all. Let it cook on one side, then we just have to flip it once, and that marinade just seals on and gets a wonderful golden color. Now, what I've done... I've heated up the skillet, and I just put our pita in there just to get warm. So we'll put our pita down. Now, if you notice, what I've done, I have a little yellow bell pepper, some tomatoes, kalamatoves, a little red onion, but I'm going to take some of our tzatziki, all right? And, you know, Monica loves a lot of tzatziki, so that's why I'm going to start with some on the bottom. Now we can go with a little bit of the red onion. Let's put a slice of tomato here. Some of the peppers. They can go on this side. And the olives. You know, what I did with the Kalamata olives, these are pitted, and I just cut them in half. Um, I like cutting them in half because I can use them more, and they're a little spread out, and you, you get more of a more bite to them, okay? So let's take our chicken. Now, if you would like, you could put a little lettuce on here. Sometimes folks will do it with lettuce, all right? You don't have to, but you could if you want. Let's get a little piece for down here. Now, of course, hey, a little more sauce, all right? Because it's all about that sauce. Now, and if you want to do more tomato, that's fine. You can. Now, let's just take this, kind of roll it over. Now, sometimes with gyros, they open them up and put it inside the pita bread. But here, I'm just going to roll this and cradle it like a little baby. See, so we can tuck our in. And that way, as we go ready to eat it, all we have to do is turn it down, okay? Now, we did this today with chicken, okay? Now, I love halloumi cheese. Fried halloumi cheese in this is great. So if you're a vegetarian, you can make this. If you want to use anything inside that you like, remember today 
tomatoes, red onion, the calamari olives, a little orange bell pepper. Put some lettuce in it. Put a little shredded cabbage in it. Make it your way. All right. So I hope you enjoy this. I think you're going to really love that tzatziki sauce. All right. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton. Keep washing those hands. Keep masking up and stay safe. Thank you for cooking with me. We will see you soon.